Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Pi Records, and I'm here with Alex Durham from Radioactive Electric Eel Factory Reef. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Very good. Uh, we've been talking for quite some time, and uh, I finally got a uh, what's my rig from from you, and I got really excited, and uh, I listened to your single that came out a couple months ago. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's start off talking about how you got the idea to put the band together. Um, I mean, that's a good question. Like, I think it's always surf music is something that I've always kind of wanted to do. Um, I mean, it's something that I've tried to do before, but kind of found it fairly difficult. Just it wasn't really something that I'd ever played before. So I, it was a kind of humbling experience in a way when I first tried to do it, because I realized that I wasn't that technically good at guitar or that kind of um, as musically proficient as maybe as I would like to be. So I kind of just stripped, you know, my guitar playing back and just tried to improve and, you know, learn the classics, um, you know, Walk Don't Run, Ms. Lou, um, uh, Surf Rider and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. You know, and then just, just by doing that, I felt like I got to a point where maybe I was getting you know, I'm not, I'm still not the best, but like, you know, good enough to maybe start putting some songs together. And um, it also kind of came out of the pandemic, um, you know, with my band, my other band, Harsh Buzz, quieting down a bit. And it was something that I was able to just do from home to kind of keep me like creatively satisfied. Um, it's because it's just me, I can work on it whenever I like um you know i don't we don't have to book in a uh, practice room or anything like that i can just sit at my computer or you know just sit in my chair with my guitar and just kind of work on it anytime i feel like it so yeah it just kind of felt like the right time to to do some stuff cool tell me about uh last fish on the left last try on the left so that was like the the kind of main riff was a riff that I'd had for ages like a really long time and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it it was something that I tried to kind of put into my um into my other band but it just wasn't really working it kind of felt like I was trying to put a square peg in a round hole um you know and there was stuff like that I feel like there's no point in trying to make something work if it's just clearly not working so I kind of just sat on it for a while and I think that song probably went through maybe like 10 different structures or iterations and moods and sounds and, you know, just different uh, levels of dynamics and stuff. And I, I finally got it to a point where I felt like it was good enough to kind of put out. Um, you know, I, di I didn't want to just... There were a couple of times where I thought about putting out a version of it, but I just felt like it might just be lazy, like I'd just be putting it out for the sake of putting it out. But yeah, I kind of got to a point where um, I felt like it was, yeah, good enough to release. Um, yes, yeah, not the greatest song in the world, but it's like, you know, I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, you know, with my, um, with my other bands, like the writing is all done as a group. Um, you know, I, I don't I, I've never really gone into practice with like a fully formed song and then taught it to the to the guys and gone, this is the song, this is how we play it, and this is how it's gonna be. Um and I kind of really realized how much I kind of rely on collaboration with uh with other band members to get songs finished. Uh so it, it kind of took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to to get to a place where I thought it was okay. There is a there's a little part in there uh, on the rhythm that kind of sounds like it has a little metal feel to it. Mm. Kind of like uh, it's, it's like a middle eight or middle 16 kind of yeah. in like the third kind of quarter of the song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does. I think it's because the guitar's doubled. It's got like a uh, one rhythm and then a harmony above that. So yeah, it yeah. does sound a bit metally, but I was like, oh, fuck it, lean into it. It's fine. <laughs> Well, that sounds good. I really enjoyed listening to it. Thanks. So uh, what are your plans now? You have the single out. Mm -hmm. um, it, it sounds like you're you're ready to get the word out there. Are, are you looking to put a full band together or 
go play shows yeah i mean that's that's the dream eventually um i'm kind of in the mid stages of putting uh an ep together at the moment i've got five songs i think it'll end up being four songs on the ep because there's a couple that i'm one or two that i'm just not 100 percent on just yet um i don't feel like they fit um but yeah the plan is to finish up the ep i mean it was i was hoping to have it out much earlier this year um but, you know life just gets uh life has other plans you know yeah. um so yeah the, the plan is um yeah finish that put that out as soon as i as soon as i can as soon as it's ready um and then hopefully get the get the band together and uh you know i've got i've spoken to a few people who are interested but it's just um lining things up you know with uh yeah. just different schedules and you know people working different shift patterns and stuff so it can just be really hard to find a time especially when it's people that you know you really do want to jam with you know right um you don't you know i could kind of go ah this isn't working like logistically so i'm just going to go and play with somebody else because i would like to make it work with the people that i am talking to so yeah, yeah like hopefully one day maybe maybe 2023 we'll see uh we'll see uh some radioactive electric hill factory gigs awesome uh so are you looking at, at a three piece or do you want to add another guitar as well i know you had keyboards in the songs I think, yeah, I I mean, I'd probably be, in an ideal world, I'd be looking at a bass player, another guitarist, organ, and theremin, if I'm lucky, uh, with a drummer as well. Yeah, um, yeah just kind of to fill the sound out nicely. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of that kind of uh, dusty organ kind of sound. Um, you know, like the eight men, uh, bomboras and stuff like that. Certainly yeah. cool to have that kind of rounded out sounds and someone who can actually play keys because i can't very well <laughs> <laughs> well awesome uh i want to congratulate you on your upcoming ep and your single that you have out thank you and, uh thanks so much for coming on i know it's in the middle of the day over there where you are in uh in london thank you so much alex cool my pleasure anytime thank you so much ryan